is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap. Robbie Gold's got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi Stadium. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. the handoff now Darnold oh he's gonna air it out right away he's got a man complete a big play there on the first play of the game 71 yards Hubbard gonna take this down just short of the goal line he got a three but could not get the ball over the chalk Now receiver in motion left. Hubbard again. And he takes it into the end. He's dropped it to 23. Here we go. Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 at their own 23. Here's Lance to throw it. And that is incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Shotgun now for Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. To that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of the... Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. Line just across the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'm warned against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and play the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 22 yards there, a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly, the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chenault. And he's going to get this... Inside Niner territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This is well as coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On 
on second and ten. Darnold, he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. So Sam Darnold not really nearly should have opted for the touchback. Better offense set to get this drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through. Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart, pass by pass. Obviously, and they made some adjustments there on that end. Now because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that. A little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 45 yards rushing for him now, just six carries to this point. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And some room to run now. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards to pick up there, and also a first down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. He'll take it inside the 25. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of it. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, McCaffrey. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. A gain of 10 on the 49 first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. And he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the chill 20-yard line. They're ready to begin their next drive. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. On first and 10, Darnold eluding the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it. Get him ball time. The coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. To throw again on second down. Darnold. There's Tremble, the tight end. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. Back to throw, Darnold. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To the air again, Darnold. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Could, they were just unable to complete the pass. The play fake, and it's Darnold. That's going to be caught. It's Chanel. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And now they're trying to make it a perfect 3 for 3 to start. Now here's Palmer on the jet sweep. And he'll take this 18-yard line. Next drive. 
And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see. The He's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Seconds to play in the first half. Lance now on first down. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCaffrey downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because it'll be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he'll go down here at the third to see about getting three points. And he's going to miss this one. That five-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. To get this drive underway. But, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards for him on the ground now. It's always been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. And getting this just shy of midfield is spotted at the 39. 13 yards there and a Niner first. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Here we go. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. Oh, what a move. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drives off. They'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Moore, the man in motion. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Seven yards there and a first down. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But i got to tell you, to watch them football for me. Moore, the man in motion. Well, just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. The clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. To throw is dark. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Moore, the man in motion. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold, they'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slip. But maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. On 
the jet sweep this is Marshall and oh he's just gonna be short here barely maybe by a half a foot it'll be fourth and inches three quarters have come and gone you are watching the NFL on EA Sports down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive slot man moves right and they'll run on first down with Hubbard and he'll bring this one inside the 35 give him nine on the carry that time and they're set up with a second and one carrier with the bandit Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And the slot man goes in motion left. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining. Oh, Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. Call it no game there, and it leads to a fourth down to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. And here we go on fourth. Darnold. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick. Whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it. Because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. And that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage. And they pick that one off. Right, Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. Nine yards to pick up the first. Here's Lance. And this is going to be intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Mears used to say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone, and that's going to be caught. Touchdown! And they so probably should have opted for the touchback. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback. He's got a man complete. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Lance back to throw. He's going to let it go again. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. And 
the Panthers have just about sewn up this football game. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all...